Have you ever wondered when you go on a Visual Studio, create a new project, and you know, select some template? Right after that, it keeps you sort of folder, some sort of structure. How this happen? That is something called template. Microsoft has created some sort of template for us, which have you know predefined code repositories, some sort of pattern, so we can use some code. So that is something called project template because that give you complete project so in this video we will create our own project template and I will show you how we can do that what are the different options similarly project template we have other template called item template when you try to add a new item in your project you select class interface or any other sort of you know uh, that item that is something called item template all of these that you see on the screen those are Microsoft default template default item template that they have created for us so again in this video we will create our item template as well okay so let's go into Visual Studio and let's start the fun time so here we are in the Visual Studio now let's start with project template so we have this project created actually we have these two classes libraries right so this is our project code with many other and you see we have delegates we have models we have services right and then we have program class now I wanted to create a one project let's imagine you are working in a team you are working in a company where you know uh, you have written some shared logic and you wanted to share that with uh, with your multiple teams of in the same organization so what you can do you can create a project template in that case and share that project template push it somewhere over nugget or push it somewhere over you know through your local ma uh, machines or some through network and then you can ask them to access those right so <clears throat> let's go ahead and see how we can create that okay so if you go to visual studio there is a very nice option on the top project and here is something called export template so if you click over export template uh, this is not saved yet let's save it okay so once it is saved it will give you the pop -up. so see there are two options project template and item template this is what we have just done right so item is just one file project is complete multiple files right okay so once you selected project template it will ask you for which project you wanted to choose right so since you have multiple here test class library this library so that is why so let's go with our first class library which is code with Pervini other right click over here next and you can name template something you can put description something so let's put a description let's say learning project template so that will help us to recognize later and you can put some image as well it's all up to you you can put the preview image that will show up over here so for now let's go over default because these are not required and this is the output location once it is done your template will go to this location this my exporter template perfect okay and here is a checkbox called you know uh, automatically import the template into visual studio so that means if this checkbox is enabled you don't need to do any additional setting to import your this template I mean to Visual Studio I mean you do not need to let Visual Studio know that hey I have created one uh, template can you please you know include in your library you don't need to tell that but if you this checkbox is not enabled then you have to do a lot of things perfect okay so let's check this and display an explorer window on the output file folder. so that means you don't need to remember even this location this when you say finish it will automatically give you that pop-up that window where it is saved okay so let's see now click on finish see so we have that pop-up right and where it's saved this is the location where it says my exporter template under your username documents visual studio and then my exporter template right so this saves in gif folder okay so if you go back here you will see <coughs> there is a folder called templates under templates item template and project template so these are the two location where Microsoft keep their templates if this is item template they will keep here 
if this is a uh, project template they keep here right so since r was also project template and you know we you, if you remember we had that checkbox enabled where we are saying uh, import this automatically so if that checkbox is enabled so you see that zip file is already here our template is already here okay now let's see can we use it okay so what we will do we will create a new project let's open the visual studio create a new project and search here let's see even if it work or not so it is taking some time okay what was the name code with let's see if it appears in the this name see i can see that and this is what was the description learning project template right and this was the name code with or any other this is the default image because we have not added anything that is why we use see right let's see let's choose this and let's imagine you know you have distributed this template to your different teams because you have some shared logic they will go here they will import that and they will say next select your template and say demo application demo app for template and say create let's see what happened so i'm expecting now all those structure that we have seen in the real application for creating the template that should be here now go to solution i can see the same see this application is demo app or template and now i can see the same structure so this is what microsoft does when you say give me a mbc application while creating a new project and they give you whole folder structure this is what happened they have created some dummy application for you where they have set set up some base things and they have given you that template and this is how it works behind the scene perfect okay so this is what you know project template now let's move to item template okay so what i will do let's close let's keep it open so you know we can uh, use it okay so let's go to our other application this is the original application where we are doing everything hmm. now let's imagine <coughs> you have created one interface uh, let's create one interface let's say a uh, 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 new item so we are choosing you know default item so let's say interface and name it you know code with parveen yadav interface right so this is one interface that you have created and now let's set something off it is let's make it public and set some method maybe you know we can say void get perfume details right so this is one method it has now i want it to create a item template for this what i have to do again i have to save everything go to project click over export template now click over item template instead of project template right and if you click over item template it will again ask you know for which class library you wanted to work with let's go ahead with our this library next okay so here is the interesting part since this is item template you can't choose everything right even if you try to choose it won't allow you see you can choose only one class at a time so what we will do since we have created a interface this interface let's create this item template next and you know these are the class, uh, dlls that may be dependent or not so it has shown you all the dlls that this project is using so you can choose but for us it is quite simple so we don't need let's say next here again you know you can say something let's say interface and description i would say item template learning right and image this time let's add some image go to image go to downloads okay select this key over here again select this key and we know what these options now right let's say finish and it is done so again it has saved in that my exported templates let's look you know at the microsoft folder structure go to templates <coughs> go to project template i can't expect that because that is item template so we need to go to item template here you go so you have this uh, zip file here right 
Okay, now let's go to the project that we have just created, which is demo app for template. Now I wanted to add a new item which have you know uh, recently that what I have created. Say new item. Mm, just taking some time. You see that code with Pavini Adav interface. This is what we have created, right? Now you can name whatever you wanted to do. Let's say add, and I'm expecting same thing, right? So this is the beauty of project template and item template and this is how Microsoft work behind the scene okay so this is one thing actually two things now what if there is a requirement in your uh, company or in you know organization that where you are working that you have to work on one architecture you have to create one architecture maybe onion architecture right and you need to distribute that template to multiple teams in multiple projects they have to use that architecture right and you don't want to waste your team's time that you know everyone go and learn onion architecture and then you know they start creating those sort of structure so what you will do you will create one onion architecture over here right and create a project template for that and then you will distribute but with this approach this is only for you know single class library and single uh, uh, that item for that that is little complex right so for this video that is all i will see in the next video and we will talk about that little more complex where we will create a template with folder solution with multiple projects with complete architecture